What is up everyone? Welcome to my video. If you've clicked on this one, you're probably thinking about trying out intermittent fasting. You're either doing intermittent fasting um, or you're just interested in it. And you know, it's clearly, well, to be honest with you, if I had have made this video probably three years ago, it would have gone a lot better. But um, you know, I'm behind the ball game a little bit, but I do use intermittent fasting myself. Um, I have used it probably for the best part of the last two years, especially when I'm trying to drop body weight or drop drop body fat. Um, and there's certain you know there's certain things that you need to keep consistent with it to to be successful. Um, there's also certain risks that you run uh, using intermittent fasting as far as you know binging at the end of the night and things like that. So I'm just going to quickly run through you guys my experience, how I use it. And um, you know you can make up your, your mind from there. So intermittent fasting, I first heard of basically when you know Twin Muscle Workout TMW uh, first came out probably four years ago, and they they used intermittent fasting to to cut down and get shredded for the first time in their lives I think. So I saw that and I, I at that stage I didn't even realize you know the notion of calories in versus calories out. So I mean at the end of the day. Behind intermittent fasting and getting results with intermittent fasting, um, you need to be in a caloric deficit, obviously. So w myself, once I start eating, um, I, find it, I find it extremely hard to stop, especially if it's something nice. So the way I use intermittent fasting is I'll wake up in the morning. Usually I'll wake up you know, no more than an hour before work, so I don't have too much time to think about things. I'll get a caffeinated drink of my choice. So that's either, you know, a fat burner, it might be a coffee, something like that. Usually it's a coffee. Um, or Amino Energy is my other top supplement that I really enjoy, which is by Optimum Nutrition. Um, so anything with caffeine in it, basically, what that will do is blunt my appetite um, and give me the energy I need to get through the first part of the day without consuming any food. So I'll easily, you know, go five, six hours, even seven hours um, in the morning without consuming any food. And people are scared. I, I don't know what you're scared of. Like, are you afraid that you're not going to have the brain power to function on no food? Well, you know, coming from me, coming from personal experience, it's obviously not going to be the same for everyone. But I feel sharp, man. I feel really sharp in the mornings. If I go and smash myself with a lot of carbs first thing in the morning, not only do I feel sluggish, but I also feel even more hungry two or three hours later. So if I don't have anything, um, that hunger goes and it stays away. And you know, if I get up at seven, eight o'clock in the morning, come two or three o'clock, I am pretty fucking hungry. And what I usually do is, depending on when I'm actually working out that day, let's say I'm, I'm finishing work at five, I'm working out at six, I'll start eating around about the two or three o'clock mark so that I can have one or two good meals before I go and train. So the worst thing you want to do, the, like the, the worst, thing, I find myself doing this sometimes and I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? Is going through the whole, well, going through those first six or seven hours of the day, not eating, having a workout planned, you know, later on in the day and not getting the nutrition in before you work out that you need for that workout. So. The danger you run with intermittent fasting is your performance can drop if you don't structure your intake of calories around the time you train. So regardless, you know, regardless of what day it is, I'll most probably spend the first five or six hours of the day without eating. I'll have one or two meals before I train and then I'll have the majority of my calories after I train or at night when, you know, when you do go out for dinner, you do go over to a friend's place, you do have dessert and things like that. So what it allows me to do is still is, is function really well in the first part of the day, still structure my nutrition around my workout, but most importantly, it allows me to eat the majority of my calories at night, and that's when that's when I enjoy eating. You know, I if I go to bed satisfied, um, it's well it's a lot it's a lot better than going to bed hungry, right? So if I if I space my meals out all throughout the day, 
um, stopped eating at you know seven eight seven or eight o'clock at night, I'd be going to bed you know relatively hungry, and that is a feeling I can't deal with. I just can't. And when I'm cussing, I realize that there are going to be times when you have to go to bed hungry. So what I do, I flip it around and I go hungry first thing in the morning and go to bed satisfied because I've eaten most of my calories um, late at night. So I know I've been rambling, um, but that's, that's how I do it. Um, yeah, the, you know, there, there have been far-fetched claims thrown around that I've heard of um, people saying that you know, if you fast for 24 hours, your human growth hormone production can be boosted by, you know, a thousand percent or something like that. Hey, I've gone 24 hours fasted. It's too long. It, it, it really is. Um, you know, I've, I've done a couple of videos on, on 24 hour fasts actually. And, you know, if you could do a consistent 24 hour fast every two days, man, you'd be you'd be getting shredded real fast, but um, that was way, way too long for me. Um, especially if you're trying to include a workout of sorts on a day where you don't eat anything at all, man, it's, it's just counterproductive. So, you know, the main goal in bodybuilding, guys, is to first build the muscle and put on the body fat. And then, you know, the art of bodybuilding is to cut down, cut the fat and maintain the muscle, right? So you gotta get as lean as possible, with the most amount of muscle as possible. Now, that's the art of bodybuilding. And if you can use intermittent fasting to your advantage to help you do that, well, by all means, I say go for it. You know, right now it's 12 o'clock, it's midday, I got up at eight. Um, all I've had is probably a, a total of about two to 250 milligrams of caffeine um, with a coffee and then with a amino drink. And you know, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling, I'm not hungry at all. But I mean, in saying that, I ate right up until I went to bed last night. Obviously still staying under my, my certain amount of calories per day that I want to stay under. But at the end of the day, I wake up and I'm not hungry and um, I can push through. So that's how I use it. It's worked well for me. At the end of the day, guys, you can't let yourself binge at, the end, at, at, at night. You know, if you go through the first part of the day till two o'clock, don't start eating a shitload, just have a couple of small meals, you know, especially before you train, you don't want to eat heaps. So I find that if I take in, you know, 50 grams of carbs and 50 grams of protein um, once or twice before I go and train, I, I feel like that's enough for me. Um, for you, you know, it might be different. I'm not sure, depending on what your current calories, what your current macro limits are. Right now, I'm probably aiming for around about 2,500 calories. I am cutting. Um, that is a good amount for me to cut on. I'm still satisfied, especially when I have most of my meals at the end of the day. So whatever calorie amount you're on, whether it be 2,000, fucking 3,000, whatever, um, clearly you still have to stick to that. So use, you know, use a 24-hour period to calculate your your total calories and macros don't use you know two hour periods or six hour periods um, because you're going you know if if you fast till two eat till ten that's that's eight hours eating that's a 16 hour fast every single day so yeah even and you know not even in 24 hour blocks do it in 48 hour blocks so let's say you got 2500 calories a day that means you've got 5000 calories that you can consume in every 48 hours. So maybe that'll make it easier. I mean, I've heard of people do it weekly, you know, maybe one day they'll smash their calories, they'll go like four, you know, 4,000, 5,000 when they're only meant to be having 2,500, but then they'll peg it back over the next six days. And at the end of the week, they've still lost weight. So it's up to you how you do it. That's just a little bit of information from me to you. I hope it's made sense. I hope I haven't rambled too much. I'll probably cut a little bit of it out. So anyways, subscribe for more. Give us a like. That uh, it means more than you know. And I'll definitely be doing more videos like this in the future. So for now, have a great day. Train hard. Make some gains. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.